Hey everybody, this is Joby, and a couple of people have been asking me what should they spend their AP on, you know, uh, for this event. A lot of people told me they went into um, Cyrodiil for the first time, and then they made a bunch of AP, and they just don't know what to do with it. Well, don't you worry, because I know how to spend that money. And uh, the first place is uh, Livia Rol Rolas. Now, she's a high elf, and she's been telling me to get out from behind the counter about five times. But I don't have to listen because they're bossy. All right, so she's the war researcher. We just look in here. Look like or is she a dark elf? I guess she's a dark elf, but they're bossy too. So the war researcher. Okay, so you can get these Akavari uh, motifs. They're pretty expensive, 250, 500k, like that. The chests are always going to be more. All these Akavari look pretty good. And the dragon scoot, the craft Ebon Ebonheart pack style. Ancient scales for Akavari style. Now this is something you might want to buy. Uh, if you need it for your jewelry, it's called a Dawn Prism. What it is, is it's the tr uh, it's the uh, trait that will make Harmony. Now Harmony rings, when you activate a Synergy, they give you like 30% more. Very useful. I like it. I usually run one. Not on this build, but I ran it for a while. Especially for Dungeons and Trials. You get a lot of Synergies and it just... Uh, makes it great you can also sell these you can uh, sell them for about probably 30k maybe 50 I don't I, I haven't checked in a long time they sell them here and they also sell them at the battle master for uh, battlegrounds so you just bring your AP and buy it now what this is going to be these are the costumes that I was talking about and when you have at least 50 of these you can get the arena gladiator costume now the cool thing is uh, you buy this Arena Gladiator's Exaltation for 10k, and you have 50 proofs. You hit it, it'll blend it together just like the pet that we got, the Unstable Morphalictic Pet, or whatever it's called. And uh, it'll make a rune box. That rune box will have the costume, and you can sell it if you want to. Uh, I don't know how much the Arena costume goes for. The one in Imperial City, the Timber Crow, of course, goes for anywhere from 1.5 to 2 million. Uh, gold. This next one will be the uh, emote. Okay, and you'll need 30 proofs. And then this next one is the uh, Arena Gladiator Helm. Very cool with the costumes. That thing looks like a big mop on the head, like a broom or something. <laughs> Those Praetorians back in the uh, Roman Centurion days. And uh, this one is 20 proofs. And then you just need a thousand AP for the recognition. The Roar is the little lion pet. You need 40 proofs. And this um, Roar, I don't know what you would call it. It's a catalyst. Then these are Knight's Rebuke. Uh, 40 Arena Gladiator proofs. And you get a weapon style page. Just be random though. Knight's Resolve will be a uh, Knight of the Circle style. Well, this one. Yeah, same. Knight of the Circle. And this will be an armor style. And then the Reach Mage Ferocity is the uh, ceremonial skull cap from the reach mages and uh, you just need 20 proofs and you need to buy this I'm just gonna call them catalysts I don't uh, I don't know what it is they all have a different name but it's oh it says rune box fragment so just need that just the fragments all right so that's uh Lilivia Rallas what she's got and uh, what we can do is we can go down to the southern gate and I can show you uh, where the golden will be, and that's definitely something that you can buy. But before we go over there, let's head over to the Siege Merchant. We've got all these people over here that sell stuff. There's the general, and I'm picking up that book because I've started going in here. And I'm doing great on my sorcerer. It's so much fun. Okay, so all we have to do is go over to the uh, this gentleman. Jesus. Sounds like he sneezed or something. Now what this guy does when you first come in, you can buy um, this foods, you know, different kind of food from him. You can get these uh, battle droughts. Now this is the good one, is these health droughts for 720 each. You also disappear. So it's uh, 8,871 health. You vanish for uh, 47 seconds, improves health recovery by 40%. You gra it grants inv invisibility and unstoppable for 10.4 seconds. Health recovery by 40% for 47 seconds. And then uh, you get immunity to knockback. So these three potions are really good. They're as good as you can make. 
Keep restall, recall stone for 20k. That's if you're in the middle of the field and you want to just travel really quick. You can use that if you're away from a keep. Repair kits, flaming oil. Man, these things mess people up. Put that on the top of a keep while they have a ram. You'd be killing them like flies. Pack ballista. Now, something people don't know is um, if you're hitting a door, if you're doing siege, the pack ballista does the most damage. It can shoot really far, too. And a pack ballista will do 2,000 to a door or a wall, whereas these fire ballistas will only do 1,000. Everything else only does 1,000. So, I mean, when I say pack, the other ones will say covenant or they'll say dominion. But just a normal ballista is what you want to pick up when you're doing siege. Because sieging inside of a keep. Now, if you're trying to kill people, fire's good. Fire pot, trebuchets shoot really far. Uh, ice ball, these will freeze people. Lightning removes all their magicka. So if you got some strong sorcerers out there, you shoot that. When they land in it, they'll drain all their magicka. And the best one for killing people is the packed meat bag catapult. They get on, they get that disease on them, and. Uh, they die like crazy. I don't know if it can be cleansed, but man, it's devastating. You got a lot of these other ones, pack stone trebuchets, and then the siege repair kits. You can buy all these things from the uh, siege merchant at your gate. Now, okay, I'm here, as you can see, I'm in uh, the north gate for like for um, Covenant or the blues. That'll be up here at this gate. And for yellow, I think it's Ellsworth Gate. Pretty sure. Oh, goodness. I am sorry. I do not know where it is. Just wherever the boards are is where I'm going to be. But we're going to go down here to this, uh, for me, is a South, South Morwind Gate. And we'll talk about what's down there. I'll see you guys there. Okay, so I've landed in the Southern Morwind Gate for, for the Ebonheart Pact. This is a place where I always do the videos on the weekends and the things that'll come here. You know, if you want to know what's here, an easy way is to just watch my video and I'll tell you everything that's here. And then I'll also show you all the stuff that's uh, in the uh, luxury vendor. If you don't care about that, just turn off the video. Cause I do the golden first for everybody to see the jewelry or uh, either jewelry or helmets, monster helms or shoulders. And uh, you just use AP for that. The convenient thing is that the banker is just right here. So if all your AP is in here, then, uh, you know, in your bank, you've got uh, all these different sections. I'm sure everybody knows this already. And uh, there's uh, the money and then my alliance points. So I already spent a million. So I made like probably 2.5 or 2.4 million uh, playing in the, um, in the festival. And that was really great. I'm gonna, I'm saving up the money so I can get uh, their Scooby snacks. What's up, Scooby? And um, I, uh, I'm saving it up for the hammer. We're gonna go look at that in just a second. Now this is the merchant. So if you come to her, you can just fix your gear, which I don't need to right now. But she's got a lot of stuff, repair kits. She's also got the different uh, trash pots, as we call them. But you know, I would. If you're gonna spend AP on some, I would buy those bi those bigger ones because they're they're up, you know, the, the siege merchant that I showed you because they are much better. All right, so let's go look up here too. Uh, I know I made a video about the achievement vendor, but it's worth repeating. What's up here? If you're into furnishings, this is a great place to spend your AP. You can always get more of it. Now another thing I want to say is um is that this character. I'm just in divines. I'm in light armor. I'm in divines. I'm a sork. All I did was change a couple of skills to like mage's wrath and uh, protective rune, and it's just really fun. I don't really die any more than I used to, and uh, I'm getting a lot of kills. Like I have 23 kills from the big bounty, and I just got those today, and it was really easy. And all I'm doing is hitting mage's wrath when they get low health. Execute. Pretty cheesy, but who cares? And uh, we just talk to listens to see. And then, like I said, if you like uh, achievements or in furnishings, there's a lot of stuff in here. Some of these you have to be, you know, pretty high to get them. 
uh, I mean like this well I can get that but I'm only on this character I'm only a sergeant I believe second grade my highest rank is like uh, captain on my dragon knight this is what I'm gonna get I cannot get this on this character I have to come in on my werewolf but once I get two million I'll be buying it and uh, this is uh, the throne if you're ever the Emperor but I'm not doing it because I'm not staying on for 20 hours well, that's really it. I mean, uh, I can show you uh, my skills, what I change it to. You know, normally on this bar, everything's the same. Except normally on this bar, I'd have like a lightning splash and then I would have wall of elements. I just change it to Mage, Mage's Wrath. And although it only does 3,092 shock damage, when they get to or when they get to or below 20% health within four seconds of being struck an explosion deals an additional 10,975 shock damage to them and 5,226 shock damage to other enemies nearby so you just hit them you know you weave it and uh, hit that and then they explode and in a big battle they're just everywhere because the big problem is people don't have executes especially like a dragon knight and they get them down low and then they just heal back up or they get healed by one of their healers. But if you catch them when they're down there and you just press that button, you raise your hand in the air and a lightning bolt comes down and they explode. It is epic. So this is really good too. A lot of people use Rune Cage. It's, a, it's like a Sorks lockdown. I like the defensive rune better because I just put it on myself and anybody that hits me is stunned for three seconds and you can't block it. And it's so annoying. And that's what I'm all about. Now on this bar, I didn't I didn't change anything. I'm the same. Thunderous Rage. Inner Light is great when you get around Nightblade's Elemental Weapon. Cursing Shock or Crushing Shock. Crystal Frags and Haunting Curse. A little bit spammy. But who cares? So, you know, Joker proved me wrong. I was oh, I'm never going to bring this guy in here. And I'm bringing him in now all the time. And I'm doing, you know, I'm... I'm no murderer, but I'm having a great time because it's just all about running around with your alliance and having a good time. And uh, yeah, yeah, that's what I think is the uh, things to do in here. And um, just get alliance points and then you'll be able to buy helmets and jewelry or motifs or the dawn prisms. If you want to make money, there's all kind of ways to do it with the jewelry. If you want to make uh, if you want to get furnishings, you can get those for your house. You know, you can keep working and get the achievements it's a great time well that's it for today i just wanted to do the video for some of the people they're asking in the youtube comments about what to do with their ap i get it you know like this is a new thing to you and uh all you have to do is go to any of these places and look around and you will find something to spend your ap on especially at the golden vendor with helmets and shoulders and uh sets for your jewelry so please give me a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed the content. Leave a comment in the comment section. If there's anything that you'd like to see or if you have any uh, problems or you need any help with anything, if I can help you, I will be more than happy to. Join me on Discord, the most chill Discord server on the planet. There's a link in the description. All platforms and alliances are welcome. We've got people of every alliance and every platform in the Discord and they're all chatting and talking and having a great time kidding around posting memes just having a great time if you're on xbox one north american server you can join my guild my name is coyote c-h-a-o-t-e-y just send me a message on xbox add me as a friend and i'll get you in right away because i know the boss my guild's name is just like the channel upper echelon mediocrity we have 321 members total and we have 13 members online right now it's already like four o'clock in the afternoon for me so it's in America, it's about 3 o'clock in the morning Eastern. Everybody's asleep in their little beds. Not everybody, but even 13 people can still have a good time. All right, so until that time, let's get paid.